Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. We gathered here today to talk about my butt. Hi, welcome to my channel. I really did not want to say that to open this video, but I don't know how else to start it, so I'm just gonna go with it. I have been waiting to make a video about this topic. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the stretch mark removal treatment that I've had done twice now. For a little bit of background, I have stretch marks all over my butt, um, and if you know me, you know that it makes a lot of sense because I am pretty thick. So it makes sense to have them. Between working out, puberty, and clearly me being an ashy little girl who just did not moisturize her butt enough, um, I remember feeling like I woke up one day and just had stretch marks. I'm a black girl, so having white stretch marks all over my butt is very obvious. It's something I've been really insecure about and that has made me uncomfortable. So once I found out about this treatment, I was very interested in getting it done. The treatment that I had done is called the Bolin English Treatment, and I had it done at Bolin Studios in Los Angeles. The first time that I had it done, I want to say it was late January 2021. What the treatment is, is they take a tattoo needle and instead of ink, it's like a blend of oils. From my understanding, what the goal is with this treatment is that it's supposed to damage your skin with the hope that when the skin is repairing itself, it'll bring back pigment and also it is supposed to improve texture. I went in to go get the treatment done and they have like a doctor's bed or chair that you lay on. In their description on Instagram when they talk about pain and on their website they say some people say it feels like you're being tickled. Now look, I've never had anybody tickle me and it hurt or feel like that so maybe y'all are just a little bit different but I do have a pretty high pain tolerance and to me I would rate the pain about a seven and a half so obviously it is something that i did find painful it literally is like getting a tattoo like i said it's a tattoo needle so as someone who does not have any tattoos i did not know what to expect to be honest i did not expect it to hurt as bad as it did and they don't provide any numbing any topical nothing like that so they are just going straight to town on your skin if you're going into it without having any experience with a tattoo needle and also being told that it feels like you're being tickled, there is that slight shock of like, oh no, this hurts. It, it does hurt. Obviously it wasn't anything unbearable. They do go over the same stretch marks multiple times. So after the first like initial round of them going over it, I would say it really isn't as painful as it is to start. The amount of time that you spend there will vary. Um, the area that I had treated was my butt. So it did take probably about an hour for each cheek. Real hot girl shit. Um, and also I think for the initial appointment, they are just really careful making sure they go over every stretch mark multiple times. In total at that time, I spent probably close to $600, but the treatment itself was 500. They sell um, a small bottle of the serum. I think it's like a diluted version of the serum that they do the treatment with initially. And obviously I wanted to make sure that if I'm paying this much for the treatment, I wanted it to heal in the best way possible. So I did buy the oil and of course you do tip as well. So I believe I spent $600 at least. Aftercare for the treatment is really simple and really easy. They just let you know you can't do certain things like tanning, hot showers, jacuzzi, working out, things like that for the first couple of hours and some of those items for like four to eight weeks. You just have to be really careful about not getting infections and um, the only thing after getting that done is that the skin is slightly raised, which I will show you guys a picture here. I called it my Freddy Krueger butt because it was just red and raised, but after it was not painful, it did not hurt. The only thing that you'll feel throughout the week, maybe week and a half, depending on how quickly you heal, is it will itch. It is itchy, but they do tell you to get a and ointment and they do provide you with some. So anytime it was itchy for me, I would just lather it up and I was fine. Other than that, I think I went to work the next day or the day after and obviously I got it on my butt so I was sitting fine, I was walking fine. Like I said, no one could tell anything and I was fairly comfortable. Like I said, it just would be itchy sometimes. Truthfully, I was pretty surprised with how quickly I healed after my treatment. I want to say about three weeks after I had it done, my butt looked like it looked 
prior to me ever having stretch marks. And obviously there was um, the area on my hips that still had a couple of stretch marks. I didn't mind that at all and that is considered a different area so those were still there. But my butt literally looked like I didn't have stretch marks or I only had a few, like they were very faint. And I was so happy. I couldn't believe I found something that worked. I was like, I can't believe I found something that wasn't like $10,000. I didn't have to do laser, I didn't have to do surgery. Like, I had my butt back. And the reason I got it done is at that time, we were doing a like staycation trip for my sister's birthday and we got an Airbnb with a pool. And honey, I had my cheeks out. I had not a concern or a care in the world. And that was the first time in years since I've had stretch marks that I felt like it just wasn't even on my mind. But of course, I would say maybe another month later, so about two months in, my stretch marks came back completely. So all the white stretch marks came back. It was a little disappointing, but they do tell you for some people, you will need touch-up treatments. And obviously there's so many different factors that will impact your results, how old your stretch marks are, how you heal. It may work for some people may not work for you. I wasn't devastated, but obviously I was a little disappointed that it wasn't the permanent result that I was expecting and that when the stretch marks did go away, that was not going to be long term. Um, so I just left it alone after that, didn't really think about it. A little over a year later, we booked a trip at an all-inclusive resort in Mexico and I was thinking the same thing where I was like, I just didn't want to have to be concerned about that on my trip. Um, so I looked into getting a touch-up treatment and I will be very honest every time I had looked at their website between that year time span it seemed like the price had gone up obviously I wasn't checking every single day but when I looked uh, to get a touch-up again the price did go up um, but thankfully I was a return client obviously with that being my second time so I did book a return visit first time I had the treatment done I had it done with Natalia who I believe is the owner and the person who like created the treatment and the second time I had the treatment done I did have it with someone else I forget her name but she was so sweet so personable but it was a lot faster as well I was probably there for 45 minutes to an hour so I was in and out pretty quickly and again pain and everything was exactly the same process was the same after that it was the same aftercare process I went home like normal kept a and d ointment on it as I healed and I do feel like for the second time around I healed much faster but also with that my stretch marks did come back again for the second time so after I was out in Mexico with my cheeks out again living my best life not a care in the world. Three weeks, four weeks after that, my stretch marks were fully back again. So obviously at this point with my stretch marks coming back for the second time, I was pretty disappointed and I realized the treatment just, I don't know if it just doesn't work in general or if it doesn't work for me. So I was hopeful after the first time that maybe with a second treatment, it would give me more permanent results. So I'll go ahead and include a picture of what the area looks like today. I haven't looked at a side-by-side -side photo, so I can't say whether or not I remember there being a big difference, but my butt to me looks exactly the same. But I will say the one improvement that I did have is texture. Before, with my stretch marks, it wasn't anything super deep or something you could feel a lot. But you could definitely feel when you're running your hand over the area where the stretch marks start and end. Whereas now, it all is just kind of like a flat surface. It's all flush, so you can't feel the stretch marks anymore, which is cute. Not really what I was going for, not the goal, but you know, I'll take it. The tricky thing with this treatment is that it's not a super popular treatment right now. So there's not YouTube videos or TikToks or Instagram pages with people talking about having permanent results from this treatment. All they really have is their Instagram page where I know for me, when I sent her my results to post on her Instagram, it was three weeks after. So that's not long-term results. So there's really not any other experiences that you can look at or you know I haven't found any cases where people have talked about having long-term success from it that doesn't mean that it hasn't happened or that it doesn't exist everyone's body is different like I said for me just the research behind it I'm not really able to do will I be getting this treatment done for a third time hell no for me it would just be ridiculous to have to 
continue to go back frequently anytime I didn't want to have my stretch marks just for it to last four to eight weeks at most. It's too pricey now, it's a painful process having to go through the aftercare and making sure you don't get an infection or anything like that is just ridiculous. Honestly, if you have the money and you have stretch marks and it's something you're insecure about as well, um, I say go for it, do your research and look into it. You just have to go into it like most other treatments and procedures, knowing that everyone's body is different. So for some people, they may have great results, for others, they may not, but I don't regret it. For what I paid at that time, I think the price was very reasonable and i also felt so confident so good in my skin and that is not something i had felt in a really long time with my stretch marks so for that alone i don't regret it personally it just didn't work out for me so you got stretch marks again and that's all right i don't think i'm missing anything but I will be answering any questions below in the comments and I will be posting videos weekly. So if you're interested in more beauty and lifestyle content like this, make sure you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.